City 2-2 Middlesbrough, Finn Azaz snatches late point for Borough. Finn Azaz's deflected second-half goal helped Middlesbrough claim a 2-2 draw at Hull, but a point apiece does little to boost either side's Sky Bet Championship playoff hopes. Emmanuel Latte Lath followed up a brace in Borough's 2-0 win over Swansea on Saturday with an early goal at the MKM Stadium, but Jaden Philogene's cross-come shot drew Hull level just before the half-hour. Middlesbrough goalkeeper Sine Dieng played Lewis O'Brien into trouble which allowed Jean Michael Sari to put the Tigers deservedly in the lead ahead of halftime, but Azaz had the final say. Albeit after his strike took a crucial final touch off Alfie Jones before nestling in the goal. Both teams sit six points adrift of sixth-placed Norwich with Middlesbrough in ninth. One place ahead of Hull, who have a game in hand over their two rivals. This was a missed opportunity for both sides, even if Middlesbrough extended their unbeaten run to eight matches and it was the visitors who stormed out of the traps after kickoff was delayed by a quarter of an hour due to heavy traffic in the area. Hull's defenders were caught on their heels and paid their price as Latte Lath bagged his sixth goal in his last eight matches. Having taken six minutes to score in the reverse fixture, which Borough lost 2-1 in December, Latte Lath needed just four this time after stealing in behind a high line and steering beyond Ryan Alsup from an acute angle. Hull gradually warmed to their task and were unfortunate Abdus Omer slipped at the vital moment in front of goal as his miss kick sailed wide while Jacob Greaves' header was clawed away by Dieng as Middlesbrough were hemmed into their own half. Hull's persistence was rewarded as the influential Philogene delivered a teasing ball that seemed to elude Ozan Tufan at the back post before sailing into the net. While Hull awarded the 29th minute goal to a celebrating Tufan, it was officially given to Philogene. Luke Ayling headed off his line following Omer's chip as Hull continued to pour forward but they were given a helping hand four minutes before halftime. Dieng's attempt to play out from the back backfired spectacularly as Sari nudged O'Brien off the ball on the edge of his own area before lashing into the top corner. Despite being outplayed for most of the first half, Middlesbrough might have drawn level at the start of the second as Johnny Housen's thunderous effort was palmed by Alsup into the path of Latte Lath, who got into a tangle and could not slot in the rebound. Housen at the other end made a desperate intervention to block Sari's goalbound effort, while Reagan Slater drilled across the face of goal and wide as Hull looked to give themselves some breathing room. Their inability to do so came back to haunt them as they were hit on the break in the 71st minute. Azaz exchanged passes with Isaiah Jones before bearing down on goal and his shot ricocheted off Jones and over Alsup as Middlesbrough drew level. Omer might have nicked victory for Hull in the closing stages after springing the offside trap and going clean through, but he was denied by the legs of Dieng. The managers. Hull's Liam Rosinier. We need to take it to the wire and we have an opportunity to take it to the last day. As we know anything can happen on the last day. Norwich have got tough games, we've got tough games. It's the same story, I'm really proud of 99.9% .9 of the stuff we do, but we just don't take advantage and then we shoot ourselves in the foot. It's what could end up, I'm not saying has done, costing us something that is so attainable with this group. That's the painful thing at the moment for the lads and everyone involved in the club. We can see the potential is there, but potential is nothing, you have to turn it into results. If we consistently play at that level for the next five games, we'll come really close. We have to be perfect. I don't mean by winning five games, I mean by managing moments. We have an outstanding football team at this level, but we consistently haven't taken advantage of the moments. Middlesbrough's Michael Carrick. Of course, we are in it still. Yes, 100%, it's pretty obvious we've got to win the next game. Norwich took a point in a 2-2 draw against Sheffield Wednesday on Tuesday, S and Hull have taken a point. There are games to play. Anything can happen in this league so there's no way we're giving up on anything just yet, thanks for your watching, don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more.